What if your DNA isn't your destiny? What if a master switch could control your genes, turning them on or off without changing the code? This isn't sci-fi, it's epigenetics. It's a layer of control on top of your DNA, like a director for your genes, and it's changing everything we know about health, disease, and aging. Here's the puzzle. Every cell in your body has the same DNA. So how can a brain cell and a skin cell be so different? The answer is the epigenome, a set of chemical tags that tell genes when to turn on or off. Two key switches are DNA methylation, which sticks a do not read sign on a gene, and histone modification, which controls how tightly DNA is wound. Tightly wound DNA is off. Loosened DNA is on. These switches give every cell its unique identity. What flips these switches? Your environment, your diet, stress levels, and sleep all send signals that change your epigenome. In one experiment, a mother mouse's diet alone turned off a harmful gene in her pups, making them healthy instead of sick. Some changes may even be passed to the next generation, meaning your parents' lifestyle could leave an imprint on your genes today. When these switches fail, it can cause disease. Cancer cells hijack the system, silencing protective genes and activating growth genes. Even aging is linked to our epigenome getting noisy. But here's the good news. Epigenetic marks are reversible. This opens up a new frontier in medicine. Scientists are developing drugs to reset faulty switches, and new tests could spot disease early by reading epigenetic patterns. We're even developing CRISPR-based tools to precisely turn genes on or off without altering the DNA itself. Epigenetics reveals a conversation between our genes and our world. What part of this science excites you most? Let us know in the comments. We once saw our genes as unchangeable. Now we know we are active participants in how our genetic code gets expressed. The age of genetic destiny is over. The age of genetic dialogue has just begun.